here we have Inder Bis sir, who is a professor in the electro electrical and communication engineering in Birla Institute of Applied Sciences. So the journey of Birla Institute of Applied Sciences began in 1969 with the establishment of the center of Birla Institute of Scientific Research by Sri M B M Birla, a renowned industrialist in the newly developing beam tar industry. The aim was to provide basic workshop facilities and testing grounds for entrepreneurs to set up industrial units in the region. With the backing of leading educational institutes such as Birla Institute of Technology, Mishra Ranchi, and BM Birla Science and Technology Center, Jaipur, an academic institute was established in the same campus. In 1990, the institute humbly commenced its academic program in the computer education leading to MCA degree. It was affiliated to Kumau University. Expanding the horizons for professional education, the institute also started a three-year B.Tech course in electronics and communication engineering in the year 2000. That was converted into a four-year undergraduate degree program post and plus 2003. Here we have Inder Bis sir, who is the professor in electrical and communication engineering, and he will be talking about his department with us. Sir has completed his bachelor's as bachelor's of technology in electrical and communication engineering from Pant Un Pant Nagar University and MTech from Uttarakhand Technical University. Currently, sir is pursuing his PhD from the University of Petroleum and Energy Studies there. Are. Sir holds more than eighteen percent eighteen years of experience in teaching across various institutes. Sir, we welcome you on our program. Thoughts on education. Thank you. So, thank you, sir. Indeed. Thank you. Welcome, sir. So, sir, moving to uh, our first question, I would like to know, sir, being the faculty of electrical and communication engineering department, what are your roles and responsibilities for the students? Uh, actually, uh, as a uh, faculty, uh, we have interact with the students, and uh, we try. Uh, our best to the student to uh, prepare for them uh, for the today's industrial environment and uh, provide them the uh, we try our best to provide them uh, practical knowledge uh, to the student about their uh, syllabus or their subject okay sir so sir inke alawa aur jo matlab aap log bachcho ko industry ke accordingly prepare karte hain aur industry workshops Imparting education. Ha, huh. we we providing the uh, industrial training them. We uh, the students uh, in the uh, pre uh, means pre final years are uh, uh, for the exposure purpose they are uh, visit different industries and also we uh, time to time we are uh, conducting some uh, uh, workshops uh, regarding their uh, uh, today's uh, new uh, generation uh, uh, courses and. About their uh, about the course. Okay. Great, sir. So, sir, uh, like as you talk about, like you provide prepare your students for like tough competition outside the industry and prepare them for like uh, make them industry ready by uh, helping them to visit the, like institute uh, industries and conducting workshops. So, sir, how do you tend to establish healthy relations? Of, With the student and the fellow faculty, student. Uh, actually, uh, try to make our uh, uh, means we uh, tell the uh, students uh, and uh, the faculty of the department that uh, they interact with uh, the students and uh, basically they contact the students uh, to learn uh, the uh, about the subject with the practical knowledge. we uh, because it is a uh, technical uh, subject so uh, practically uh, if the students are practically strong then uh, they understand the subject and the, their uh, course better so the uh, we uh, tell the uh, faculty member of the department uh, yes, prepare the student technically strong and practically strong so uh, make them uh, practically strong and also interact one to one to, uh, with the students uh, because uh, it is uh, Uh, it is easier to know the uh, weakness and strength of each student when uh, we, uh, when the faculty member interact uh, with the student uh, one to one. So uh, that uh, can be possible in the practical sense. 
for the lab so our so, faculty try to interact with the students okay great sir so sir uh, you also like provide some personal counseling to the students to help them like for the week for week and other students Uh, sir, I'm not getting your voice clear. Sir, uh, I was just asking Again, that. Yes, sir. I was asking that. Do you provide some personal, uh, like, help to the weak students as well, like extra classes? Yeah, yeah. we also provide the uh, classes, and uh, the faculty member also uh, give them uh, some uh, literature uh, and some uh, uh, books uh, by their own. Uh, if the students are not able to purchase or student not able to not want to go uh, library or not want to sit in library so the personally they uh, call the uh, weak student and uh, provide them the uh, literature material great sir so sir how do you try to bring uh, like in practical approach towards subject and make it more industry oriented yes sir sir uh, i was asking how do you make uh, sub, um, how do you try to bring in practical approach towards subjects and make it more industry oriented uh, actually uh, as i uh, earlier say that uh, we uh, always uh, prefer uh, to uh, give the knowledge to our student uh, practically so uh, we more focus on the practical knowledge and the lab uh, lab uh, laboratories in each and every subject and uh, if it is possible uh, we also uh, provide them some uh, uh, online uh, videos and online uh, lab uh, lab uh, literature view uh, for the practically and uh, also the students are uh, go for the industrial training and industrial visits in different industries time to time and uh, and one more thing uh, we call also uh, some industrial persons Uh, to uh, give their uh, uh, experience to the student and share their experience and the exposure of the industry with the student. Great sir. That's where we connect the student with the industry. Great sir. So do you also like uh, get some uh, like take some feedback from the industrialist to design and modify the curriculums? I am with that. If if if, uh, if the uh, if the students are uh, going there for the intensive uh, like the, the students in the uh, pre final year also go for the uh, four week or six week or eight week uh, industrial exhibit and then we also um, uh, try to uh, get some uh, feedback to these students uh, these uh, industries where the students are go for the intensive okay great sir so now moving to our next question what are the best practices are offered by the department by your department to the students which help them gain necessary skills uh, we uh, provide them the uh, uh, technical solution and also uh, we provide them uh, some uh, means uh, entrepreneurs uh, and some uh, wait for it. and uh, also uh, provide some uh, other person which uh, gives them uh, uh, develop their skills their communication skill and their uh, personality development program and like that that also we provide uh, time to time uh, to the students uh, so that uh, enhance their uh, performance in the uh, interview time and also uh, enhance the uh, personality of the uh, students and the, their communication skills great sir so basically along with the teaching the in the uh, departmental subject you also help student to prepare for like interview by conducting uh, counseling sessions and test in the interview great sir so uh, do you have some yeah, extra yeah. curricular activities or program to enhance the skills of the student or like expose them to real world challenges yeah we, uh, uh, in our department we also uh, in uh, not only department in, uh, in our institute Uh, we have a uh, technical uh, society we have the other society also the culture society there in sports and other so even uh, simultaneously we have a uh, techno forum uh, that is a technical society uh, in which uh, the uh, the faculty in charge provide them uh, the uh, guidance to uh, prepare the uh, small uh, type of uh, circuits and small type of uh, uh, projects to develop and uh, expose them in other institute and other competitive uh, uh, 
type of uh, the uh, conducting at the institute the competition conducting at the institute so they and that help to institute uh, students how to uh, prepare uh, the circuit diagram and how they have uh, the knowledge to uh, basically the small circuit also so that develop their uh, skills in their uh, uh, their uh, interest in which yes, field they have interest yeah. they got to know about the area their areas of interest and like gain some practice hands yeah. on experience as well right sir now sir uh, like coming to like last question of the interview sir what valuable advice would you like to give to the student for them to have a prosperous career ahead actually i am uh, always say the student and also the uh, our faculty member also uh, uh, telling them to work hard and uh, strong uh, sincerely and go through their study and also uh, clear their uh, basic uh, things about the subjects about the technical thing and then they have to complete in the examination or the competitive exam